and welcome to the vlog. It's freezing outside and here I am with a smoothie. Yeah, I spent my last couple bucks that I have for spending money for myself for the week on a drink. I woke up this morning really thirsty and I've read articles that when you do that you actually are dehydrated. And I didn't want to buy a pop because that's not going to keep me hydrated. I have Gatorade in my bag, but I kind of save that for during the day. So I bought myself a nice smoothie. Plus it's a great way of waking up because I don't usually have breakfast until later. And it's cold out. Or there's lots of frost on the buildings and the cars. And it's foggy. Anyway, um, I tried the wine last night. My stomach was a little upset, but I think it was also because we ate so much food. Like, we ate a lot. My poor stomach this morning was grumbling, but I think it was the amount of food that I ate more than that because Trevor got us donair poutines. Um, we ate those and then we had dessert on top of that and I don't know what I was thinking about eating dessert after. There's actually still dessert at my house that I haven't even eaten because we were just, we were so done. <laughs> I'm walking a different way to work this morning. Actually, there's a few ways to get there. This morning, I just decided to go this way. Yeah, I think I see my coworker sitting on the ground. I'm gonna go talk to her. Off to job number two. So Trevor, when we first got the guinea pigs, didn't like the guinea pigs. And now, here's a clip for you. Not a whole lot left in here. I guess I see you. <laughs> I can still hear you eating it. <laughs> Let me smell your head. The nose sticks out so much. Is this like cocaine for them? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Especially for him. Oh, there's Twix's nose. Where you go, Bacon? Where you go? Oh, he totally knows that you have it in your hand. Bacon, come. Bacon, come. 
boy. Come on. Come here. Good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Oreo. Bacon, where are you going? Do you have one more in your hand? Bacon, come. <clears throat> peek, peek, peek. Come in. Looking, looking. Run right away. looking at you. What is it about these? I don't know. They like them. It's a finger. <laughs> His nose is so far out. So it's quarter after seven right now. Trevor's not home because of this reason. This is why I'm not gonna be home anytime soon. So I'm at home right now waiting for my boys to come home. I've tidied up, not like clean clean, but just like a nice kind of clean. Um, yeah, so some of you who watch my vlogs are wondering why, starting next week on Tuesday, why I will only have one job. Um, the other job is a cleaning job. As some of you know and what I have said in the past, um, they offered me more money and lots more hours and I found a thing for Hayden that I don't need to be paying daycare costs anymore so uh, with the daycare cost I'm no longer paying for um, I'm paying a very small amount for Hayden to do karate more so basically he'll do two days there for after before and after school pro no after school program yes but he'll still do his three classes a week uh, if I'm late past five o'clock, then I, yes, past five o'clock, I'll just say I can't work past five. It's not a big deal. Most of the time you're done by five anyway. Um, I'm sad that I'm leaving my other job. I'm going to miss the people that I work with terribly because I've been there for three years. But it's time for me to make these changes, especially for my family. It needs to happen. I can't survive anymore at just one job. Although I'll be just working one job, it's a job that's paying me more money, so I'm, I have to say yes. Um, I love the company that I'm with right now, and I'm, it's, it's sad. I don't want to go, but I have to do what's right for my family. Uh, a lot of people are sad, but Right now, it's kind of out of my control. Um, but yeah, starting Tuesday, it'll just be one job. Full-time hours, 9 to 5, basically, every single day. And that makes me happy. Yeah. So, crappy. I'd also like to mention, my kid, who is still with his dad, coming home, that this morning, he did not find the elf on the shelf, Mr. Buddy. It is in my cutlery drawer. It is almost 7.30 at night and he still hasn't found him. And I like the elf on the shelf concept. My kid needs reminders consistently of being bad and having good behavior and good attitude towards family and stuff like that. And I like how the elf on the shelf kind of encourages that. And instead of waking up and doing his 
jobs, putting on his backpack, putting his lunch in his backpack, stuff like that. He's getting distracted by this elf. It's exciting, it's new, it's day five. But when you're not doing your jobs, we have an hour to get out the door. And if we don't leave within that hour, mommy is screwed for her work and her job. It makes life a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna say goodbye now with me and my Christmas mug. Yay, Christmas! Which is in 19 days. I'm really, really hoping and praying that I get it all done this weekend. If not, then it's not gonna get done. It's not gonna get done. Oh my God, it's not gonna get done. Uh -huh. Yes, that's how it is. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.